Okay, so the problem we're looking at is uh, the quiz question from today, and it was that a baseball arrives at home plate at a speed of 43.3 meters per second, which is the initial velocity, <clears throat> and the batter hits the ball along the same line straight back to the pitcher at what is going to be in the negative direction uh, with a magnitude of 68.4 meters per second. And the baseball has a mass of 0 0.145 kilograms, and the bat is in contact with the ball for 6.28 times 10 to the negative 4 seconds. And we want to know what the magnitude of the average force on the ball is uh, during this time to change the momentum. So <clears throat> we know the relationships that we're looking for are that impulse is equal to a change in momentum, which is what the baseball has experienced. And that's going to be equal to the force that we're going to be looking for times the change in time over which that occurs. And just to complete this, that is equivalent to mass times the change in velocity. So uh, from here, we pick uh, two of these expressions to set equal to each other. And since we're given the initial and final velocity, and we're given mass, time, and looking for force, it'll be uh, these two that we're going to select. <clears throat> so we'll say that force times delta t equals mass times delta V. And then we're going to solve for force. So we know that force is going to be equal to uh, mass times delta V over delta T. And additionally, we can expand out the delta V. So we'll have mass times VF minus VI all over the change in time. And so from this point, we can plug in our values that we were given. And we have force is going to equal 0 0.145 kilograms times the quantity, uh, final velocity, negative 68.4 meters per second, minus the 43.3 meters per second, all over the change in time, which was 6.28 times 10 to the negative 4 seconds. And so from here on out, it's calculator work. Uh, order of operations is important. You want to take care of this first, uh, then multiply and divide. So when you do so, you get a force. The average force uh, during the time that the bat is in contact with the ball is negative, because we're going to have this minus this, which gives you a larger negative quantity times the mass divided by the time negative uh, 200 and or rather 25,790.6 newtons of force that changed the momentum of the ball such that it changed direction heading back towards the pitcher.